In these problems, we're using what's called the quotient rule um, for exponents, and we have negative exponents to deal with. A quotient rule, that just means what do you do when you divide uh, something that has the same base uh, and exponents? You know, when you multiply something, so let's say you have x squared times x to the third, same base, x. When you multiply, you add exponents, so this would just be x to the fifth. And when you divide, you subtract exponents. So this is going to be p to the negative 6 minus a negative 5. So I'm subtracting this negative 5 from this negative 6. So all we have to really do is, is simplify that. So negative 6 minus a negative 5. Well, minus a negative is like plus. So this comes out to be p to the negative 1. And then there's only one other trick here. Um, they want us to write our answer with a positive exponent only. So p to the negative 1 is the same as 1 over p to the first power, which we would just write as 1 over p. Let's try another one just to practice this. So we're dividing y to the negative 2 by y to the ninth. So we're going to have y to the negative 2 minus 9. And negative 2 minus 9 is a negative 11. So this is y to the negative 11th. But they want us to write this with a positive exponent only. So we just take out the negative by putting it 1 over. So this is 1 over y to the 11th. All right, one more. Here we have x to the 4th over x to the 3rd, or sorry, x to the minus 3rd. So the answer here is going to be x to the 4 minus a negative 3. And 4 minus a negative 3 is the same as 4 plus 3. So this just equals x to the 7th. And that's it. We're done because uh, this is a positive exponent. So x to the 7th is our answer. So that's a little bit of work with the, the quotient rule uh, and negative exponents.